the ATSB is calling for vigilance and harmonised procedures for those directly involved in aircraft operations after its investigation into an aircraft preparation and foreign object damage event at Canberra Airport. On the 10th of November 2022, a Link Airways Saab 340B was being prepared for a scheduled commercial air transport flight from Canberra to Sydney. The aircraft was fitted with a propeller strap to stop the left propeller being rotated by the wind. During the aircraft preparation process, the first officer did not attach the strap extension between the stairway and the propeller strap. The strap extension is used by some operators to guide passengers onto the aircraft and prevents the cabin door being closed without its removal. During the final inspection after boarding, the first officer did not remove the propeller strap. The dispatch coordinator, who was employed and trained by the ground handling company Swissport, did not conduct another walk around or follow the first officer. During the startup sequence, there was a delay between the engine start and the propeller spinning due to the pin securing the strap to the engine cowling. As the engine speed and torque increased, the pins failed and the propeller began turning normally. The aircraft departed with the strap still attached to the left propeller. At about the time the aircraft became airborne, the propeller strap was thrown free of the blade and into the fuselage. The broken cowling pins broke free from the strap and entered the cabin, with one fragment striking the leg of a passenger. From the flight deck, the flight crew did not see or hear the propeller strap penetrate the fuselage. Once the aircraft was no longer in a critical phase of flight, the cabin manager advised the flight crew that there was an emergency in the cabin and that a passenger was hit, but did not elaborate beyond expressing the need to return to Canberra and that an ambulance would be required. The flight crew, believing the emergency to be only passenger related, did not seek any additional information and the aircraft landed safely back in Canberra, with emergency services attending to the injured passenger who had received minor bruising. The investigation found that the information provided by Link on the training of dispatchers did not explain the appearance, function and importance of propeller straps, and Swissport did not ensure that its dispatchers were adhering to procedures. Link Airways has strengthened its procedures to help ensure the strap extension is fitted prior to flights, to help confirm that the propeller strap is removed before departure, and to provide more clarity on cabin crew contacting the flight deck during emergencies. The propeller strap was missing its high visibility streamer, and Link found other straps that were faded or with missing streamers. Link quickly repaired or replaced these straps and incorporated the straps into its maintenance program. The use of external ground handling services has become increasingly common in aviation. The relationship between a carrier and the ground handler can add complexity to ground handling operations. The two organisations jointly clarified dispatcher responsibilities and expectations and amended relevant training guidance. Swissport mandated walkarounds on the Saab 340B aircraft and planned refresher training for its walkaround procedures. You can read the final report by searching AO-2022-055 on the ATSB's website or from the link in the description below.